because that can be the, the danger, particularly on brand, can't it? Where, where if you've done everything, then your personal brand is really the brand of the company. But once things start to get bigger, yes, that can get lost. And I yeah. think we we can you and I can probably pick half a dozen large companies where that's happened. Uh, so it's totally understandable that that would happen to a small business or a solopreneur as well. What what kind of tips do you have for people where that potentially is something that could happen and um, the, the brand gets damaged because of it? Oh, yes, that is, it's happened a few times. And, you know, there are systems in place for what we call crisis management. So you have crisis PR, you have things that you, you can't anticipate. There's been black swans in this world for a long time, and it impacts businesses. And what you can do is lean back on well, you architect it. Is our mission still our mission? Are our values still our values? And how can we navigate this as gracefully as possible to reinforce the thing that is authentic and true while also upholding what we've, we've committed to? And it's it's a balance. And, and they, early when you said, how do you scale right? And I was thinking, I don't know, there's really a 100% right, 100% sure. wrong way to do it. Because I think some of the the fears around scaling is doing it wrong and it holds people back. But really that's that's that perfectionism thinking. And I am a recovering perfectionist. So <laughs> I understand that, but you we can't get it right. It's business is messy. And with the changes in different technology and you're dealing with different people, you are navigating it the best you can. And when you come to those forks in the road, you have a North Star with your architect, with your blueprint to say, is this in line with what I pre-agreed I wanted to do? And for us, we do an evaluation every 90 days. So every 90 days, we have an execution plan. And then every 90 days, we do a 90-day review. Is it working? Is it not working? What are our strengths? What are our challenges? What are our weaknesses? What are the trends and opportunities that are coming? Does this impact our blueprint at all? Do we want to add on? Do we want to build a tiny home in the back? What Do we want to build a garden? What does this look like now, now that we've gone a little bit further down the path? So the permission to change our minds, too, as, as our businesses evolve and unfold is, is quite powerful because there's things that can really turn it in a direction that could uh, have substantial growth. 